to just sum it up, I would just say it's feel good music. That's what I would, that's how I would describe it. People call, and all the time, what what should we expect? Well, you know, what, what do we need to wear anything? Uh, I say no, just be comfortable. You know, cause we not gonna be dressed up either. <laughs> intensity in your playing. Sure. Music is very much influenced by your life and life's experiences. Uh, and your band in particular has suffered a lot of tragedy over the years. Can you tell us a little about that? Yeah, definitely. Um, the band has been through a lot of tragedy. Um, um, we lost like uh, four band members and all, and we all started real young together. And we still young now, so you know we was real kid, young kids at the time, teenagers. And you know, just being here from the city, it's a shame to say, but it was like, you know, we was, we used to always talk about these things, you know, violence, and if we anyone else had to lose our life that route, how would it affect us, or what would we be feeling the last second or moment we have before we actually lose our life if we had to be faced with a robber, uh, some type of uh, tragic violence. Cause it was just that, uh, it was that serious that that could happen in the band. It was a reality that in the city, you know, it was happening every day. So, you know, especially me personally, me and Jacob, you know, he was the first band member to actually was killed in 1996, like uh, two weeks before his birthday in December. And um, and me and him would always hang out before practice, you know, because he was a trumpet player, I was a bass player, tuba player, so we would always practice together. Him, he was trying to teach me how to play the melodies for so I can open up on the horn, and he wanted to hit a bass line so he could hear the changes and stuff. But we would always, when we had a break, you know, talk about that, because we did a lot of jazz funerals, and a lot of young people we know was dying, and we was playing at funerals. So it was, it was just a big impact when he died, because it was the first one, and it was, he was so young, I believe he was 16 at the time, in 96, you know, and it kind of, the overwhelming, uh, it overwhelmed us by all the response we got to the people, the brass band community, the, the Associated Pleasure Club, and everybody who showed up to help us get through it. I mean, every day we would meet by his house and have a big second line parade, like we do down in New Orleans, and that was just like, that inspired us to continue to go on and not be like, well, I don't want to do this. You know, people getting killed. It's getting that close to the band. I'm going to move out of town. We had a whole another um, aspect and outlook on it. We wanted to continue for him. And as it went on and we lost other members, we was older. You know, it wasn't nothing that still that took easy with us. We wasn't, you know, all right with it. It was upsetting. It was heartbreaking. And I still, to this day, you know, I, I really think, you know, we need a little counseling behind it. Because every now and then, you know, it, it has us, we all, everybody have their own different reaction to it. You know, uh, whether it's just crying at night or crying in the set while we playing. You know, I do that a lot, me personally. Especially when we playing somewhere we never played before, out of town, overseas or something. And I'm just thinking, you know, have thousands of people out in the crowd, and they all cheering on how they they want one more song. They don't want us to end the set, 
And I'm thinking about when we was just kids in the park. That's where I'm at on stage. I'm thinking, my mind bringing me all the way back to the park when we was talking about how one day we wanted to do this. And now we're accomplishing the goals we want to do and they're not here. You know, and it was it's hurting, but also it's an inspiration that we got to keep going. You know, when we see uh, their parents or their grandparents come out to hear us play, that that's another thing that just really add on to the inspiration and, and fuel us to continue to do it. You know, their grandparents, their parents coming, hugging us, you know, just happy about um, still that we still in existence and they still have somewhere they can go and remember their loved ones. Thank you.